Hello, my name is Dr. Eric Nash Tibbet, or Dr. ENT. I'm an otolaryngology head and neck surgeon. Today, I will be reviewing a scene from the TV show Grey's Anatomy, Season 5, Episode 3, depicting a patient with a long standing severe headache ultimately found to be due to a nasal problem. Check it out. Moore 63 has been experiencing chronic headaches for the past seven years. Has been treated with narcotics, anti seizure medications, antidepressants, and antipsychotic medications with no success. How severe is the pain today, Mr. Patmore? Scale of 1 to 10. Eight. It's always an 8. Which is why Mr. Patmore's last consult suggested a bilateral single lot of. Sir, a frontal lobotomy for a headache? Too loud. Please. Could you do something about the buzzing? Do we need all these machines? No. Mr. Patmore has been experiencing intense pain all day, every day, for seven years. A, a singulotomy could cause seizures or cognitive defects or behavioral changes. Which is why we are going to explore every other possible option before resorting to such a radical surgery. More tests? Yes. Dr. Yang, you'll be assisting Dr. Shepard today. This unfortunate patient apparently has seen a neurologist given the numerous different types of migraine medications without success. The headache most likely is coming from the forehead region given a frontal lobotomy as being considered, something that is rarely, if ever, performed today for headaches. Dr. Sun, um, I'm working with Shepard today on a pain patient, and I read this article while I was helping George study. Aesthetic. Yes, I know, I'm pathetic, but I did read this article and I do have a photographic memory and the chief's on his new thing where he wants the interns to be heard and not Use just seen. Use fewer words, so Greg. I think he needs an ENT. You're an ENT, right? The intern clearly has thought of an alternative explanation for the patient's severe headaches that has a more nasal source given she's approaching Dr. Sloan, who is not only a plastic surgeon, but also an ENT. Some ENTs do go on to specialize in plastic surgery after completing their ENT training, but such surgeons are relatively rare. Mm. Dr. Shepard, a word? Mm. Yes. Uh, you know, mind if I run a quick test on your patient? He's in a lot of pain, Mark. I don't think he needs a tummy tuck. No, that's funny. No, uh, Dr. Gray came to me with an interesting idea, and uh, unlike you, I'm taking the Chief's new teaching protocol seriously, so I listen. Mm. Uh, I, I read a thing about swelling and compression of the ethmoid nerve. Um, mm. I believe if we were to stick a caudal elevator up his nose. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, up his nose? If Dr. Gray's on the right track, the uh, patient will let us know. Okay. Mr. Padmore, I'm Dr. Sloan. I'm the head of plastic surgery and an ear, nose, and throat specialist. I'd like to run a quick test if I can have your permission. I've seen 16 ENTs, not one could help me. Now, breathe normally. Angle Patients who suffer from severe, unrelenting frontal headaches often see many different neurologists and ENTs. Currently, Dr. Sloan is opening up the nose using a nasal speculum in his left hand. The caudal instrument is being held in his right hand. When using the nasal speculum, the vast majority of ENTs would use the nasal speculum from the side of the nose and not above the nose as Dr. Sloan does here. Also, although the caudal instrument can be used in this situation, most ENTs today would use a nasal endoscope to not only manipulate the area of concern, but to also visualize the nasal anatomy clearly. Sitting here, let me know when you feel any pain or anything. Uh, 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 that's it. That's the pain. That's what's causing the pain. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Anterior ethmoid neurovascular complex, a simple middle turbinectomy will fix it. Unless you still want to chop out the front of his brain. <laughs> Nicely done. What the patient is suffering from is essentially a pinched nerve near the top of the nose next to the corner of the eye called the anterior ethmoid neurovascular complex. This condition is analogous to sciatica of the leg. When this region is pinched, it can cause a severe headache in this vicinity that can fluctuate in severity. This condition is often called Sluter's neuralgia or contact point headache. Though middle turbinectomy can be performed, most ENTs today would alternatively perform a more limited procedure that may involve septoplasty and or endoscopic sinus surgery.
Before any sinonasal surgery is performed, a dedicated CT sinus scan should be obtained if not already done so. Um, Why don't you diagnose that nerve? Because I've never even heard of that condition before. I remembered an article from the British Journal of ENT and it was issue number 47, page 19 from 1964. A photographic memory. Dude, Alexapedia. I do not believe there actually exists a journal called British Journal of ENT. Most likely made up. So there you have it, a headache condition actually due to a nasal problem. Once surgical decompression has been performed, the headache should essentially be cured without the need for any further medication.